and how's it going everybody? It is Skalzy here with the latest gaming news, rumors, and speculation. For the last couple of months, many in the community were wondering when Bethesda would break that awkward ongoing silence and drop another Starfield update on us, and today, we're in luck because the mysterious stranger Todd Howard himself did exactly that thing. <laughs> While this new Constellation Log video isn't too long, it contains just the right amount of stuff in order for the community to hit that speculation skooma in celebration. The community believes there might even be some Starfield gameplay in this as well, but more on that later, so let's not waste any more time and break this new Starfield update trailer down. First off, the video is short, like I said, just over a minute long, and it was posted by Bethesda on February 17th, the same day that I uploaded this video. Just in case you haven't seen this video yet, I'll go ahead and play the trailer in its entirety right now. Normally I don't do that and I send you off to the official link to watch it, but seeing how this video is fairly short, like I keep saying, I figured it would help you all just by showing it in its entirety real quick for those of you that haven't seen it yet, and for those of you who have already seen it, chill out, it's only a minute long, or just skip ahead a minute from this this point right now. The opening vistas of space promise high cost as well as high reward. We set sail on this new sea because there is new knowledge to be gained. The exploration of space is one of the great adventures of all time. And we mean to be a part of it. We mean to lead it. So let's break this little thing down, and real quick, while it may not seem like there is much information to this video at first, we gotta remember that even the Adra Todd Howard himself has stated many times that Bethesda does indeed occasionally hide stuff and secrets in even the smallest of their trailers and updates. Whether that's the case with this particular situation, I will leave up to you. The video is titled, Starfield Painting a Journey Through Space, and features artwork created by artist Mike Butkus, a talented independent artist. You can actually sign up to win this artwork over on the Constellation website. This painting, which you can win, is also signed by Mike himself as well as Todd Howard 9000. One thing that came to mind, though, in terms of the sweepstakes is it further signifies that the Starfield marketing campaign is popping off more and more, and we will likely see a lot more Starfield than we've ever seen before in the months to come, but that should be obvious the most. To start things off in terms of this video, though, the soundtrack in this new update is amazing. And Enzer and his musical Dark Brotherhood squad have been killing it lately with the Starfield themes. I can't can't wait to hear more in-game later this November. One of the main and most important things in Bethesda games have usually been the soundtrack, especially for the Elder Scrolls series, so I hope that this carries over with Starfield as well. Ian Zer is definitely a talented composer, so I have the Faith Dutch. Calm down. But this video begins with this epic Starfield music, combined with these cool planetary visuals of a sun entering the frame of view, perched up behind this planet's blind spot. And then we get attacked by paintbrushes, similar to the magical paintbrush quest in Oblivion, we are forced to fight several paint trolls in order to unlock the rest of this video. J just kidding, thankfully. Nobody wants to fight those paint trolls again. I still have paint-induced PTSD, Todd. Luckily, before the paintbrushes induce Oblivion troll-related nightmares, they move off-screen. We then see Constellation member Mike Butka sketching the familiar Starfield couple that can be seen in the official Bethesda promotional art here. If they aren't called a Starfield couple canonically, then they will be from this point forward. I've made that decision. Then we hear the voice of America's 35th President John F. Kennedy as he gives his famous We Choose to Go to the Moon speech. Makes sense why Bethesda would use this speech as it definitely touches on the wonder, imagination, and endless possibility associated with space travel and exploration. And another fun fact here is years ago or whatever I used this very same speech in my fan-made Starfield trailer. So good minds think alike I guess. In the trailer itself though, Bethesda focuses on specific lines of this speech. The opening vistas of space. Promise high cost 
as well as high reward. With high risk comes high reward. Certainly true when it comes to pushing the boundaries of space travel. Further touching on a statement Todd Howard said himself earlier about how space travel in Starfield has its share of danger still, and it isn't perfectly safe by any means. We set sail on this new sea because there is new knowledge to be gained. We set sail on this new sea because there is new knowledge to be gained. Again, it seems like we are exploring beyond the boundaries of known, explored, or even colonized space within a universe of Starfield, and we hope to find great knowledge and many answers during our adventures, which too touches on a previous Starfield statement that took place during the E3 2021 trailer, where the narration lady person states that as a player, we found the key to unlocking everything, whatever whatever that means. Maybe we found the skeleton key from Skyrim. Hopefully. We don't have to turn it in to a quest giver this time and we can actually keep it. We then see what appears to be a broadcast of a rocket launch on TV which transitions into a scene many believe to be in-game footage. The scene of the rocket taken off itself. However, while it does look like this could be part of an in-game or introductory cutscene similar to the Fallout 4 War Never Changes introduction, it seems like the skooma kicked in fast this time and the community already debunked this entire theory, discovering that the rocket footage is indeed 100% not from Starfield in any way, shape, or form and is actually from stock footage on this site right here. Feels bad, man. I guess Bethesda is using stock footage sometimes. I guess that makes sense, especially for a one-minute video. You can't really dog on them for that. And then the trailer continues on by allowing us to see our beloved Vasco once again. JFK finalizes his time with us today by saying the exploration of space is one of the greatest adventures of our time. The exploration of space... is one of the great adventures of all time. And we mean to be a part of it. We mean to lead it. I couldn't have said it better myself, and in this way I truly believe that Starfield 2 will be one of the greatest adventures of our time for the gaming community. Then to close this video out, we see the completed Starfield painting that you can win in this Bethesda sweepstakes, along with a cool little animation of the spaceship frontier as it takes off, hopefully on its way to smuggle some Aurora space fish. And that was it. So while there wasn't much to this video, it is an official update from Bethesda regarding Starfield, so no doubt it's going to have like a hundred headlines going down with in the next few days, and I believe that while there might not be much here in terms of new Starfield imagery or lore in this new update, the video narration itself gives us one key detail regarding Starfield that perhaps is the most important aspect of Starfield of all, which is its tone and vibe, something that Bethesda says is the first thing they do primarily with every one of their games and something they really want to get right. And clearly, like the other Starfield trailers in the past, this new one further drives home that Starfield is all about the wonders and mysteries of exploring space. That's what the tone and vibe of Starfield will be. Exploring space, finding the answers to some of mankind's greatest questions of all time, and this, combined with other factors that will come to light during the following months, will be our driving factor, pushing us even further and further into the unknown, scouring the cosmos for answers while admiring its beauty and overcoming the dangers and trials along the way. And of course, smuggling psychedelic space fish. That is going to close up today's video, though. While some people believe there is even more hidden in this trailer somehow in this one minute little thing, even more hints or secrets from Bethesda, I guess, that tell us more about the game. I'll leave all that kind of speculation up to you. Let me know what you think about this new update, as well as if there is anything I missed or any, like, secrets you think are hidden in this down in the comments below. Thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Be sure to subscribe to help grow the community and the channel, and huge shout out to the following amazing people. Get your name added to this permanent feature video shout out list, and get featured at the end of every single one of my feature videos by supporting the channel over on Coffee, Patreon, or here on YouTube as an exclusive channel member. Links for all this and more are down in the description below as well as a link for Skullsy merchandise and the Skullsy Discord server. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when apparently the ship flying in this trailer confirms in-game space flight according to local Breville Skuma Dead. It, it just works.